Hey anime fans and anime crafters, it's been such a long time, maybe two, two and a half months, something like that, but I am back and today we're going to be making another bullet journal spread. Uh, the last time I made a bullet journal spread it was for My Hero Academia and today we're going to be making a Demon Slayer theme, which is because I love Demon Slayer. It is my current favorite anime, and if you haven't watched it, you must watch it. It is amazing, and I really want people to talk to about it. Not enough people have seen it, so I'm really hoping that it gets more popular, especially since uh, it's been subbed only for a while and it's going to be dubbed soon in uh, and play on Toonami, so really excited. I did recently get a fan that sent a version of my My Hero Academia spread and I loved it so much that I just wanted to showcase it here. If any of y'all make a bullet journal spread that's anime themed, I really would love to see them. You can just tag my Instagram and I'm definitely looking out for them because I just love seeing uh, other people's uh, crafting and art. But anyways, let's get right to the video. So here's my initial spread. So this is when Tanjiro has to cut a boulder in half. Uh, it's the first training scene that you really see him go through. Uh, I decided to do a watercolor painting of it. Um, I really liked this scene because I felt like it took the appropriate amount of time. A lot of times we'll see training arcs happen very shortly and since this is the first training arc and it, it took I think like a year or two years for Tanjiro to, to complete, I felt like that was the appropriate level to see him kind of progress into the next level. Um, whereas like other manga it's, it's like you know way less maybe a couple weeks and then suddenly they can do things that they weren't able to do which I feel is kind of inhuman in some ways. So it was pretty realistic. This didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, I found painting with browns and grays were a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And then trying to do snow, it was just not as easy. But it turned out as best as it could. <laughs> so our next spread is for the November calendar spread. And I did a little bit of a cute November font. As you can see there's a lot of butterflies on here. This is kind of paying homage to the insect pillar Shinobu Kojo. Um, she she's the insect pillar and she has a power that kind of manifests with a bunch of butterflies. So I kind of want to draw that out because I thought it was really pretty and I thought it'd be really cute on the side of the weekly spread. So here's where I had made my first mistake. I got these new Crayola Super Tip Markers. Um, I had seen a lot of bullet journal videos recommending them, so I got them and I tried them out for the first time on my spread, which was a bad idea, and they bled through the paper. Um, so it was pretty terrible because it bled through two papers, um, which I was able to cover on one, but I kind of ignored it on the other. Um, so I would not recommend if you're using an Amazon bullet journal um, because that's what I was using and uh, the markers just kind of messed a lot of my sketches up, but it's alright, you know, you just go with flow. First I'll outline the butterflies with a micron pen and then I'll color them in and then I'll use a, a a paintbrush and some water and smooth out the colors. I wanted to give it that watercolor feel because I feel like the anime has this art that blends with each other, like all the eyes all blend and I find that really soothing to, to watch. I think that the art style is so different that I really wanted to try and emulate it but uh, <laughs> I don't think it's quite as pretty as when they use um, the insect breath. And then here are all my stickers. <laughs> I created these digital arts on my tablet and then I printed them out on some white sticker paper and cut them out. Um, and I think that they turned out really cute. Uh, I'm not the best artist, but um, they looked exactly how I wanted them to, so I can't really complain. Then I'm just gonna put my little YouTube subscriber count um, in the corner. 
for the workout log, I'm doing an outline of Inosuke because I feel like he was exactly who I think of when uh, <laughs> someone who's crazy about working out. And I put gourds at the top because in kind of a workout scene, they uh, enlarge in their lungs or just get better at breathing if they can like breathe through a gourd and break it. So um, thinking about breathing through a gourd and breaking it while I'm trying to do my cardio um, will hopefully motivate me. <laughs> and then next I have my mood log. So what I did is I'm recreating Tanjiro's earring. Um, or earrings, but just one earring. And then I did 30 gaps instead of like just the, I think there's like eight lines, but in here I put like 29 lines or something like that. Um, so I can fill in the colors for each day. And uh, I think it really turned out pretty nice. It looks still looks like the earring, just with more lines. And um, I can, once it's filled in with all the colors, I think it'll look really nice. And then for this uh, second to last spread, it's actually going to be a rating of anime that I'm watching this month. Um, it's not going to be all the anime I'm watching, or maybe it will be, I don't know, it really depends on my time. But uh, this month I'm going to be watching My Hero Academia Season 4, uh, Dr. Stone, um, I just finished Demon Slayer but I wanted to put it in there. Um, and I'm I'm kind of halfway through the rising of the sh shield hero and uh, I've been trying to keep up with fire force it hasn't kept my interest as much as like demon slayer and dr. stone um, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to watch those and then uh, at the end of the month I'm going to put my little rating um, by filling in the stars uh, and it'll be a nice way to keep a log of what I've watched and what I thought about it and then for the brain dump, I just put Zenitsu um, kind of like with a shocked look on his face. Um, I had fun doing his hair with the watercolor painting um, and doing the layering, so uh, I think it was a good picture. Which is kind of weird because when I did the brain dump for My Hero Academia, um, I also uh, kind of had a similar look to it, so I think it was a uh, nice going from one page to another. So here is the finished product. So we have the front with um, the boulder scene, which is, I'm just gonna call the boulder scene. Then we have, this is my favorite, or maybe second favorite spread. This is the uh, calendar spread with all the little stickers on the bottom and then my current subscriber count, 633. Please subscribe. And then we have the workout log. Um, and my mood tracker with Tantra's earring, so you can see the colors and how I kind of, well, I don't know, I like the colors. And last but not least, the anime watch list and the brain dump. So these are the animes that I'm watching right now. I'd like to have people vote which ones they would like my next bullet journal to be, so from these uh, animes. Uh, obviously it can't be Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia since I've already done those, but Dr. Stone, Re The Rising of the Shield Hero, or Fire Force, um, those all definitely sound pretty fun to do, so uh, just let me know what you think my next bullet journal should be. And that's my bullet journal. Thank you for watching! Anime Crafty!